there to meet thy God. The Bible says that there is an afterlife. There is a God. There is a heaven. And there is a hell. Heaven is by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hell is by anything else you can do outside of Jesus. Religion is a great way to get into hell. Not doing anything about your soul is the perfect way to get into hell. Thinking you're somebody who you're not is another perfect way to go into hell. But to escape hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. To put your sin debt upon Him. See, we read in 1 John, if we say that you have not sinned, you make him a liar. The graveyards of this world prove that men are sinners. The empty tomb of Jesus Christ proves he's the Son of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. It's not the mother. He that believeth on the Son, the Son, the only begotten Son, God approved, God ordained, God anointed is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other. There's imitations, but they won't be approved. The Son the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Is the only way that God will approve. And we preach here on the streets because Mark 16 tells us, go in all the world and preach the gospel. Because there are people out there right now who believe there is no God. And that's not perfectly all right, because the Bible says there is a God. Well, I don't believe the Bible. Well, you're going to face the author of the Bible one day that you did not believe as you look at him face to face. The Bible says, prepare to meet that God, and just because you don't believe, come now, let us reason together. That God you don't believe in reaches out to you and says, Come on. Try me. Open up my word. See, it's not that you don't believe in God. You just don't want to be held responsible. See, America enjoys liberty, but she don't want responsibility. So if I walk around with blinders on, if I wear darkened glasses in the middle of the night, what I don't see, I won't be charged with, and you're a fool. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. The God that you don't believe in wrote that. That God told you, life is in my son. And when I cast you into the burning hell, which burns forever, then you'll become a Bible believer. But by then, it's too late. Salvation must be wrought on this side of your life. Once you die, you can't change things. Upon death, you cannot change your decision about Jesus Christ. You can't go your whole entire living life and reject God and then die, faith God, and say, okay, oh, I believe in you now. That's not faith.
You got to understand that God has an enemy called Satan. And Satan does not want to burn in his hell alone. Satan's main objective is to take you from God with him into the lake of fire which burneth forever. And Satan uses something called religion, education, science, social, fill in the blank with that one. Satan will use anything but the Lord Jesus Christ himself, and yet Paul tells us to the Corinthian church that Satan even has a Jesus. Satan even has a gospel. Satan even has a spirit. We stand here on the preach court, on the street corners preaching to you the gospel, the word of God, based upon what God has told us through His word, His word alone, not of man. Your eternal life rests upon the testimony, the gospel, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be damned. Now, before you think those words came out of my mouth, let me finish John chapter 3. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. Damn but that the world through Him might be saved. God's reaching out to you. He wants you to be saved. He that believeth on Him is not condemned. For he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3.18 Rejecting Jesus Christ, John 3.18 says you're damned already. And to get out from damnation of God is to put your faith and your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ that died for your sins. And I'm sorry to tell you people, I know you can hear this big mouth. You are without alibi. You can't stand before God at the great white throne judgment and say, I never knew. Because I have told you over and over and over, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I've told you over and over about the gospel, how Christ died for your sins, was buried according to scriptures, arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I have told you religion can't do it. I have told you that God has died for your sins, was buried, arose again on the third day according to scriptures that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by him. You have heard God's plan of salvation. There is no way you can stand before God and say, I never knew. Unlike many churches in Daytona Beach, Florida, you can sit under them for 10 years and have no idea what God wants. We have spelt it out. Eternal life rests upon God's Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything else is not approved. And you vendors are here every week as we try to be here every week. You're definitely without excuse because you have heard us and another brother in the Lord. You have heard us over and over witness to you about the gospel. Why don't you do the way of Abel? Not the way of Cain. Turn those fruit wagons and that fruit stand into the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ for a sacrifice approved of God. God doesn't take oranges. He doesn't take cash. He doesn't take checks. He takes the blood of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We stand on the street corners to tell you about the salvation that's wrought in God, the perfect salvation, the 
only salvation, to make sure you don't believe in another, that you won't be fooled. Salvation is only wrought in Jesus Christ. Anything else is condemnation, damnation.